I'm 23. I failed three businesses. Here are the top things that I have learned. Let's get right on into it. Business number one was selling beets. And when I say selling beets, I do not mean a vegetable. I mean selling beets like a M&M beet or a Dr. Dre beet. I would make beets on my computer, put them on YouTube, and wait for people to buy them. I thought it was a brilliant idea. I was gonna make a full-time income in a couple months, no problem. Little did I know, things did not work out as I thought they would. After maybe six months of putting beats up every day, I made about a thousand bucks, completely burned out and said, this is not for me, I am tired of it and stop. Here's what I learned. Let's say you wanna be an entrepreneur. You want to sell products, you want to sell services. Your product or service has to be extraordinary. It has to be amazing, otherwise you are just fighting for scraps. My beats were bad to mediocre, and looking back, I'm surprised I made anything. Number two, if you want to make real money as an entrepreneur, your product must solve a very painful problem in someone's life. This is why businesses exist. We have doctors because they solve our health problems. We have lawyers because they solve our legal problems. We have landlords because they solve our housing problems. People give these people lots of money because these problems must be solved. You must solve your health problems. You must solve your legal problems. You have to have a place to stay. If your business does not solve a burning and painful problem in someone's life, like selling music on the internet, it is much harder to make money. Business number two, vending machines. When I was about 21, 22, me and my friend got some capital together. We said, we're going to go into business. Got a couple of vending machines, called up the local mall. We started to go into business. Let's talk about it. We ran this business for about six months. We lost all our money. Here's what I learned. Lesson one, you have to care about the business you are running. You have to believe in the impact you are having on the world. Otherwise, what is the point? I am a big proponent of health and the very idea that I would be fulfilled or enjoy running a business that sells sugary poison to children is laughable and shows how immature I actually was. If you do not believe in the impact that your business is having on the world, don't even start. The other lesson I learned about this is margin. So we started to make maybe two, three thousand dollars a month off these machines and for a couple of dumb college students, that's pretty good. However, we had to pay rent to them all. We had to buy the snacks for the machines. We had to fix the machines when they broke. By the time we paid our insurance and by the time we fixed the machines when they broke, we lost all our money. If you do not understand margin and cannot make a profit, you do not understand business and your business will fail like ours. Business number three, house sitting, pet sitting, dog walking. This is the very first business that I actually found some success with. Over the course of a year, I probably ended up profiting fifteen or sixteen thousand dollars from this, which, after two business failures, was pretty good for me. Now, what did I learn in this business? I learned the importance of sales. I had to go to strangers, look them in the eye, and convince them that a stranger would come and live in their house for a week and take care of their beloved pet and make sure that their pet survived. I didn't realize it at the time, but this was the very beginning of my journey in sales. It takes a lot of trust to convince someone that you are trustworthy, you're a good person, and that you're going to take care of their house and their animals. The lesson I took away from this is if you cannot sell, click off this video, do not get into business because you will never make any money. Lesson number two, 
the power of referrals in business. If you are a trustworthy person, you continuously provide a good service or product and go above and beyond for your customer, they will refer you. I did a great job. I love taking care of the animals. I love dogs. I love my customers. In the beginning, I had to market this business a lot. But after I got my first few customers, did a great job for them, they started to tell their friends. I started to get referrals. I started to get repeat customers. This is because I loved and I cared about the business I was running. Now, if you'll notice, from my first two businesses that totally failed, I learned the importance of solving an important problem. I learned about the importance of sales. I learned about margin. I learned about having a business that you care about. And that turned into a little bit of success in my third business. As I go farther in my entrepreneurial journey, I understand that these skills will continue to stack. Now, fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000 is not a lot. It's better than losing money on vending machines. It's better than making $1,000 from selling beets. I consider it a huge success for me. My very last takeaway from all of my entrepreneurship exploits is time. Whatever business you start, I do not care what it is. It is going to take time. Go talk to any successful entrepreneur. They're going to tell you, it took me a decade for things to really take off. It took me two decades for things to really take off and I became extremely successful. Whatever business I go into next, and I'm not sure what it is. The mindset I'm going into it with is, this is a five-year commitment. Probably more like ten The only way you're going to get through that is if you really care about your business and you believe in the impact you're having. I see a lot of silly trends on the internet. Go start this business model. Go start that business model. Screw all that. Do something you love and do it well for a decade. That's what I understand now. That's what I'm in for and that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Thanks for watching. See you later.